Okay, I want to do this video to show you how to set up a domain from scratch on the Webman. Um, obviously, the first step is to register a domain. And I use uh, Namecheap.com, and as you can see, they have a real nice control panel that allows you to use their DNS servers and then just set your IPs and everything for it. So. I'm not sure which uh, you know registrar you use, but uh, if you use Namecheap, you, you know that you can use their servers and point and their DNS servers, and uh, just point your um, website to the IP address of the, of the server of your server, and the main IP address on your server is this one right here, 190.120.236.26. So that would be the IP address you would want to point most stuff to. Don't worry, this stuff down here is for your rotating mail and stuff. Don't worry about that. Um, so that, so you know, the first step is to register the domain, point it to the uh, server itself, and then actually go to the webman. First step would be to create a new user for the domain. I'm going to go to System, Users and Groups. I'm going to go down and create a new user. You can pretty much call it whatever you want, but um, let's say we're going to set up a domain called test12345. So I'm going to create a user called test12345. Um, you can fill in real name, all that if you really want. It's no big deal. Norm so normal password, test12345 in this case. Go down here and just hit create. The user is created. Test one two three four five has been created. Now we're going to set up the um, first. Let's set up the the email. Send mail mail server. It's a new domain. You want to go over to your local domains and then come in here. And tell it that you want to accept mail for test one two three four five dot com, and click save. And then you'll want to go to your address mappings for virtual users, and there's none for test one two three four five right now. So we're going to just go create one. Um, Descriptions not real important. Address <clears throat> I'm gonna say um, sales at test one two three four five dot com should go to the user test one two three four five dot com and then hit create. And you're good to go. Now, if, if you wanted to create multiple POP3 accounts on test one, two, three, four, five, you would have did that in the system user settings. You could, you know, test one, two, three, four, five dash Mike, and then Mike at test one, two, three, four, five dot com would go to the user test one, two, three, four, five dash Mike or something like that. Okay. So the next next thing is to actually set up your um, the web hosting for the actual domain. So we're going to go to the Apache web server. And as you can see now, the only virtual hosts um, is the default one here, which uh, you don't ever need to mess with. The other virtual server is the get JPS info. Okay. So we want to actually create a virtual, a new virtual host. Okay. And what we're going to do here, um, handle connections to any address, add name virtual servers, leave that, leave that. The document root, okay, this is where you want to set up um, where the server serves which files. Click on that link. And you want to go to the home directory. And in this case, the user that we just set up, test12345, and public HTML, 
that's the directory um, that will serve your main documents for the web website. Scroll down and hit OK. And you can see that, that it put it just basically put that in right there. And if you already know that, you can fill it in yourself without going over here to do that. All right. The server name you'll want to change to test12345.com. And insert leave that and leave that and then hit create now. You just created the website host for test12345.com. Now anytime so it goes to web test you know test one two three four five dot com they get sent to whatever is there all right we just want to go up and actually hit apply changes make sure that it's all good and that's the basics of how to set up a domain from scratch it only takes a couple of minutes and that'll do it for this video